Punibet, det enda spelbolag som tar mig sport på allvar. Alex Thor, Kimura.se. I'm here with Gunnar Gunny Nelson. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Where does that nickname come from, Gunny? Um, it's just uh, like people that are called Gunnar. It's a common nickname for them, and I've just been called Gunny since I was a kid. Okay. You, you like it, or you want to choose a new one? Uh, no, uh, I, I like it. I'll, I'll stick to it. Okay, good. Uh, this is your first time you're a fighter in Sweden, but you've been at the train before, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been here a good few times. I, I was uh, I was here doing karate many years ago, maybe eight eight years ago or, or yeah, eight nine years ago. And MMA, I, I was just talking to my friend actually, who's uh, he's always in my corner. He was with me in the national team in karate, and he uh, he was saying that when we were there at that time, people were saying MMA is like. It's going on Sweden like a plague, you know, it's, it's everywhere and, and it's going to blow up and look here we are eight years later and, and yeah. Sweden has one of the biggest stars in the sport exactly. and, and UFC is here, it's the third time the UFC is here. Third time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it sure did and, and you, you can just feel how, how MMA has uh, taken over this country, you know. Do you think we ever have a UFC event in uh, Iceland? Oh yeah, definitely we will have. Uh, uh, the good thing is it's it's in between kind of Europe and the states, so it'd be it'd be nice and handy in that way, you know. Uh, we just gotta figure out some stadiums, and, and but we will. Will we have a lot of uh, fans from Iceland to uh, support you here on Saturday? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of uh, people coming from Iceland. It's a straight flight, and and people come to Sweden all the time anyway, you know. And I think. Uh, I think we're going to have a, a, a huge uh, Icelandic Viking section in the uh, in the audience when when uh, when it comes to Saturday night. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to ask you this. I know you don't really like to talk about it, but uh, Conor McGregor, he had a he fought uh, this Saturday. What do you think about his performance? Oh, it was great. Yeah, he he, uh, he fought he fought a. Uh, Perfect, and uh, it was like expected. To be honest, uh, when, when it when it comes to his teammates, we we, we kind of know we know what he's capable of, and, and even though a lot of people uh, maybe doubted what he was going to do to Dustin, uh, we we didn't, um, so it wasn't a surprise to us. It was uh, it was a beautiful performance, nonetheless, and I really enjoyed it. You have to congrats him for us. Uh, now let's talk about your fight. Uh, it was like two and a half months la when you fought last ago, last time. Uh, did you get any rest or vacation, or was it back to fight camp? Um, yeah, I went home for chilled for a couple of weeks, and uh, I only uh, four months ago had a little baby boy and, and got to spend. Oh, a little congratulations! Thanks very much. Uh, I got to spend a little time with uh, him and my girlfriend and. <coughs> But I, after this, uh, I'm gonna take a, a, a bit of a break, hopefully until maybe February next year or something like that. You know, spend a little more time with them. Uh, you're you're fighting uh, Rick Story. Uh, it's a big challenge. Uh, is it the biggest one in your career yet? Uh, yeah, I, I treat every fight as that, and I think uh, I think you should because that's that's what's next for you, and and you should you should give your all, you know. And Rick is a tough guy who's been there for a long time. He's fought many of the best, uh, has some great victories, uh, and every every fighter has, has something new, and I'm I'm excited to face him. What, what are you expecting from him? What are you, what, what what kind of fight do you think it will be? Rick comes in to fight, you know, and he, he's not messing around, and, and he he commits, uh, and that's why that's why I that's why I like Rick. Where did you have your preparation for this fight? Was it in uh, Ireland or was it Iceland or a mix? It was in Ireland mostly. I was, I was, uh, I had a five weeks uh, in Ireland, and then the other weeks was uh, back home. Yeah, you came to All Stars as well. Yeah, I was here a couple of months ago, but for the, the, it was like a media weekend, and I went to All Star to train with the guys there for, uh, for one night. It was a good session. They have a nice gym. Uh, 
good coaches and, and a good thing going there. Obviously, it's, uh, it was a it was a pleasure to train with all them guys. Yeah, great. So, uh, great preparation for this fight. Oh yeah, it went great. Good. Uh, how will you win this fight? Um, convincingly. Convincingly. And which round or uh, well, what can we bet on? Um, well, I always go in there and I'll try to finish the fight quick and clean. That's that's what I always do, uh, and it won't be any different this time. But it's a fight, and you never know what can happen. And I'm ready for anything. Yeah. When or if you win, uh, wh where will you stand? Where will that take you? Um, after this fight, I think um, hopefully if it carries on this way and, and you keep winning in, in these these matters, maybe one more fight and then a the title shot. Yeah. Sure hope so. Uh, one last question. If you had to choose, uh, option one, to headline an UFC event uh, in Iceland or uh, get a title shot right away with a win over Rick Story on Saturday. Oh, I'd have to go with a headline in Iceland because that's all my fans back home and all the people. I bring so much joy to them. Whereas, if I if I if I take the belt, sure, it's great, but I'm I'm, I'm gonna get the belt anyway. Yeah. So I, I I take the I take the headline in Iceland. That's a great answer. Thank you. Alexander Thor, Kimi Rapping Tesse. Unibet, the only sport that I've ever played.